Welcome back to another video guys. In this video I am going to give my recommendation when you decide to upgrade your PS5 storage capacity and I'm going to give you guys a couple of tips and of course you can buy any type. There's a lot of mini types out there and mini brands that uh, you can purchase as long as you meet the Sony specifications which is pretty much you're going to need the sequential read speed that is at least 5500 megabytes or faster and the type of SSD you're going to need is the M.2 type 2230, 2242, 2360 or 2280. In my case I went with the WD model number SN850 with heatsink 2280 M.2 SSD and it works beautifully and I recommend this because um, obviously I, well, I've owned many WDs, Western Digital Brands for many years, different type of hard drives, and they have never done me wrong, so why change now? And I decided to go with that, and of course you can buy a different brand, and you can get more for less, uh, and I'm sure they work just fine, but I decided to go with WD because I know it fits perfectly. Now when you guys install it make sure that even though it's a 2280 uh, or even though it fits make sure you guys go ahead and uh, cover it back up with that plate that you guys took off and if it doesn't fit for some reason you're not gonna want to use that because the PS5 runs really hot so you gotta make sure um, not only will you need a heat sink you will need to cover it back up with that silver plate right there. Now, of course, um, when I talk about heat sink, make sure you guys get the one that is the hard type of heat sink that comes with it. And if you can't get the one that comes with the heat sink because they're out of stock, you can buy it separately, but make sure you guys get the one that's a hard cover one and not the one that you kind of pretty much sticker on it. And then once you guys go ahead and install the, and it's pretty simple, the the internal hard drive which will be on the bottom plate of your PlayStation if you have it horizontally and I have a disc version so it's on the bottom it's going to be on the side of the of the disc so you want to pull that plate off and then it's just a simple small Phillips screwdriver and you pretty much just pop it in on, on goes one way but make sure that it's secure um, make sure you secure it with the Phillips again on that internal hard drive but like I said, once it's in, you pretty much have one option. Just go ahead and format it. And once you format it, um, you can tell your your PlayStation um, what type of uh, default you want to use for installation. So for me particularly, I will have future installation on the M.2 SSD and uh, for the PS4 I will continue to install it in my external hard drive because it's not necessary to put it in the, the M.2 SSD so this uh, WD Western Digital SN850 with heatsink I know for a fact of course that it fits perfectly and um, it runs pretty smooth and just remember, you guys, if you guys don't go with this one um, or this type, just make sure it's very important that you guys get one with the heat sink. And after you install it, make sure you cover it back up with the silver plate. So that is my recommendation for the PS5 upgrade for your uh, storage capacity and it might seem at first overwhelming but pretty much it's not that difficult just take off the plate where it's located unscrew with the Phillips screwdriver pop it in uh, make sure it's snug push it down screw it back down cover it with the plate and uh, you're good to go Thanks for watching guys. On a side note, I will be 
customizing my Xbox Series X. I got some custom skins coming. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure you guys subscribe. But thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hood it. Dragons out. Thank you.